What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, me Ty Fishing. Before we start off this video, I just want to say, God damn, it is hotter than hell. It is about 90 degrees right now. The trout just jumped right there and I am sweating and I haven't begun fishing. Oh my God, it feels like I'm gonna die. But also subscribe to the channel, share this video and like this video, it helps me out a lot. Today, I'll be doing my first time actually nymph fishing. We are gonna be using a little black double beaded caddis fly and an indicator. So I'll be running this on uh, six pound leader and I believe four pound tippet. And we are gonna try to get my first trout like actual nymphing, not just like stripping ny like nymphs in. I wanna like float them and stuff. I have a trip to the, the Boise River in Idaho. First of all, it's gonna be about 100 degrees every day which is gonna suck but it has some excellent trout fishing and we are gonna be going for some bull trout which is gonna be epic because we don't have them in new york state and they are in danger down there but you are allowed to fish for them you're allowed to catch them just gotta release them brown trout rainbows and white fish white fish is a fish that is almost extinct i would say in new york state like there's a couple ponds and lakes that still have them but we don't have mountain whitefish. So I'll be going to Idaho and fish for those. And nymphing is the key I hear to catching the most fish. You know, I will be throwing big streamers. You know, I want a big fish, blah, 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 blah. But nymphing is the key. So we are gonna give nymphing a shot and I gotta learn somehow. So here we go. I am not someone who you will see throwing nymph all day long. Like that was just a rock. But I guess, you know, I gotta get some experience into doing it. That's another rock for this trip. So I guess most of it is nymphing. So I guess we're just gonna try to nymph this little area right here. I just cast upstream and I just let it float down, mend a little bit, try to get a natural drift. As much natural as I probably, as I possibly can. I'm not that good at this, so you guys gonna have to like stick with me here for a little bit. I just do not know how to catch fish within them. I'm trying though, you know, I gotta learn. But we also can get my first one on fly today. That's just a rock. Oh, that was a trout. Oh my god, dude, that would have been our first nymph, nymph trout right there. Oh, I got one. Oh, I still got him. My first ever nymph fish. My first, oh no, he's wrapped, he's wrapped, he's wrapped, he's wrapped. Oh my God, he's wrapped. Oh, there we go, we got him out. We got him out. Dude, that was like the perfect freaking drift. Let me just loosen up the drag here. That was like the perfect drift. That was like the best drift I could get. And he went for it. This is not a bad little stalker brown. I guess. I don't know. There's a brown trout. It's not a bad size though. We blow my hands. You know, stalkers. Dude, this guy's got a lot of fight in him. Stalkers don't really matter to me, but hey. That is not a bad stalker at all. Look at that beautiful brown. Jesus, this might not even be a stalker, dude. This fish is gorgeous. Dude, look how beautiful this brown is. Look how he ate that. Jeez, this is a pewter. This might not even be a stalker, dude. This might just be pure lake run spawn. I have no clue. Again, look how he just, right at the top of the mouth, that little caddis nymph. A beautiful brown. Real silver. He's got the red dots on him. Beautiful brown. Hey man, whenever you're ready. Jeez. Deeper water's that way, buddy. There you go, look at him. Beautiful brown trout. That was honestly my first ever nymph, like, fish. You know, I don't nymph a lot. I can tell you that right now, I'm not a nympher. My grandfather does that more than me. 
I like throwing like woolly buggers, streamers, stuff like that, you know. But hey, he ate it, and that I believe that was a wild. And this creek is mostly stalkers, which is awesome. So it was a beautiful round. Maybe we can get another one. I don't know, but I'm glad to have caught my first fish nymphing. So. Oh, we got one. Yes, on the nymph. On the nymph. That's another one. I worked this spot for at least 10 minutes, dude. At least 10 minutes. It's another little brown. I worked this spot at least for like 10 minutes straight. This guy inhaled it. Let me whoop my hands. Oh my god, look at this guy, dude. Gorgeous fish right there on the little black cat. It's double beaded. A beautiful freaking brown. Oh, let me bring him up to shore a little bit. We can get a closer look. A beautiful specimen. Not too big, but hey, doesn't matter. Beautiful guy, dude. Look at him. I believe. This is a wild one too. Just because there's no clip fins, none at all. Which is pretty freaking cool. Right there, he slipped out of my hands. It doesn't matter. A little brown. Another wild one, that's freaking awesome. We've got, what, two wilds today? If I worked this spot for at least 10 minutes and then I moved my float up a little bit higher to make it sink down a little bit deeper. And on the third cast, that brown hit. So always try options, you know. You know, I'm not an expert at nymphing. Trust me, I'm not. Like, this is... I have no clue. Like, maybe my fifth time actually nymphing. I hate it, to be honest. But I got to learn it. So, um... But, yeah, you know, try your options. That brown crushed it. Another wild one, which is sweet. Beautiful fish. Came out from underneath the branch. So, yeah, always work a spot you know don't do a couple casts give up you know always work it there's fish probably everywhere i mean the water is dirty today i'm not catching nearly as much as i would hope but hey you know nymph stuff like this deep pools you know this isn't a how to read water video how to like find trout and stuff like that but just do it like there's 100 percent fish living down there i'm probably just not getting down deep enough but there's 100 percent some trout down there they probably just don't want to bite probably not getting down deep enough i mean it is kind of fast you know fast water like this use more weight if you don't feel like you're getting down deep enough they have sinkers meant for like fly fishing so i got one on right now actually but yeah like good good water to like nymph basically all water i would say rapids there's fish living in rapids you just may not know it behind stuff structures like how i caught that fish underneath there deep pools nymph everything you know but through the videos that i've been watching it seems a great way to find out what these fish are eating and what to use when nymphing is to look underneath rocks that are in the water so we're going to do that and then we're going to try to match what is in like underneath these rocks and what these trout could potentially feeding uh, so here we go with a rock we're going to see if there's any bugs on this and what these trout could be feeding on so right there you see those little things squirming around those i believe they're called either shrimp i call them fleas like water fleas but i have no clue what they're called there's some sort of like crustacean and supposedly trout love them so you know i bet you they're getting pushed down from fast currents and trout are just picking them up so try to match this they might be freshwater shrimp like I said, I call them fleas. I have no clue what that bug is right there. That's a nasty looking bug. Try to match that, I guess. Try to match what you find on these rocks. Here, let's pick up another one. All right now, look at all, all that life right there. Crazy, look at that one, dude. That one's giant, dude. Insane. But yeah, like I said, try to match it. Look at that one, squirming around fast as hell. Damn, so I got 
Oh, look at that. I literally just cast it. I literally just put it out there. Oh my God, it's a creek chub. No, it's a rainbow. Oh my God, that's awesome. I wet my hands, wet my hands, wet my hands, wet my hands. Look at that fish. Oh my God, a beautiful rainbow. I think this is a wild one too. Oh my God, hold on, hold on, baby girl. Hold on, 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 hold on. This is why you need a net. Look at that beautiful rainbow. Stop, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Beautiful rainbow, oh my God. There she goes right there. See ya, buddy. I literally turned off the camera to go talk to you guys, and I made a cast, like right there. That was it, and she just smoked it. This kind of water right here, shallow, real fast. You don't have to nymph it. People have been doing it a long time. I've seen nymph it. I've seen them catch fish out of here. But I am not an expert. I am not going to deal with that until I actually learn more nymphing, you know, more practice, stuff like that. But let's just work our way upstream. Might go to another spot. But all, all in all, I'm happy with today, you know. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Nymphing is kind of hard, as you can tell. I mean, I'm not no expert. I have literally about two weeks to get this down and that is not enough time people have been practicing this stuff for years and are still not good at it so i gotta go like almost every day get it down get down good ways to get good drift stuff like that you know always remember mend your line stuff like that and hopefully i can slay on this big trip if you guys want to see this trip the boise river in idaho i'll be going for six days and then i'm going to the end around next right after that to do some more trout and pike so subscribe to your channel if you're not subscribed share this video if this video was helpful in any way or if you guys liked it at all hit that like button i love each and every one of you guys thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next episode with me ty fishing